What do you mean notifiable project? Hang on a minute, CDM applies to everything, but sometimes we have to tell the enforcer we're doing something? Yep, CDM applies to every single construction project. And if you wasn't aware of that, go check out our CDM intro. But today we're gonna to talk about when is a project notifiable? Let's jump into the intro. What's up peeps, welcome back to Rebranding Safety. Rebranding Safety is a YouTube channel and podcast doing exactly what it says on the tin. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the bell and all those magical algorithm buttony things. Rebranding Safety is brought to you by Risk Fluent. Risk Fluent Limited is the consultancy business that sits behind Rebranding Safety. We offer technical health and safety support, whether it's retained partnerships or just one-off fire risk assessments. We offer transformational project support, whether that's a big project or again, a retained partnership. Well, we can help you evolve your culture or tweak the behaviors you're seeing in your workplace. We also offer media services. If you've got a product or service that you want to advertise to people that watch Rebranding Safety, then we have a sponsorship offering for you. Or if you're a company that wants Rebranding Safety style videos bespoke to you for your organization, for your inductions, for your awareness campaigns, whatever it is, let us know. We'll come in, we'll work out what you want and we'll make you some cool as shit videos. And also we can swear in them or not swear in them. It's up to you. I can, I can turn the swearing off. So today we're going to talk about when is a project notifiable. So when I say project, I mean construction project. If you haven't watched the introduction to CDM, the Construction Design Management Regulations 2015. Go and check that out. It'll be in the thing below or in this button thing up here. But essentially CDM applies to every single construction project. I'm not going to say that enough in these videos. Every single thing that we do for construction, whether you're building a wall in your back garden or your front garden, it does not matter. If it's construction, CDM applies. And the work that you do within that should be proportionate to the risk. So if it's a small project, it'd be small management, but it still needs to tick the principles of CDM. If it's a big job, it'd be really intense. If it's really complex, if it's really high risk, then the documentation, the risk management, the complexity of that process should be proportionate to the work. But if a project is a bit big, the HSC want you to let them know. So sometimes you'd be doing a project, let's say you're a general builder and you're like extension here, extension there. Then you get, say a school ring you up and they're like, we want you to extend on the side of our building, but it's, we want a huge one. You're basically building like three houses. You're like, this is a game changer. Yes, bro, loads of money. It's likely that when, the, when you get these big opportunities, you might fall into it being a notifiable project. So we want to summarize here, what that means. A project is notifiable to the HSE when these criteria are met. When the construction phase, e.g. the building phase, so the second you break ground to this last brick on the building, is likely to take longer than 30 days or it's going to involve more than 20 people on site at any one time. Or the work is likely to involve more than 500 person Days. So that's 500 person days of construction work. So what that means is, is how many days you've got like, people on site and you add all of that up and it adds up to more than 500, then it is notifiable. So when a project becomes notifiable, it is the duty of the client to report that to the HSE. And that will be done by a form called the F10. And you can do that quite simply by just Googling HSE F10 or CDM F10, and you just fill out the form and it's pretty self-explanatory. If, you, if you're doing it for the first time and you're not really sure, your contractor probably knows what they're doing or your designer probably knows what they're doing. Or if you're really not sure, you can ring the HSE up, they'll help you as well. But it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, when you're, when you're within that. If it's a domestic project and it's quite a big risky project, I'd advise maybe you go and get yourself some training and upskill yourself because as a client, you do have some chunky duties. But as a client, you can pass that duty on, um, which we're gonna talk about in another video. We're gonna talk about the duties of a client. So hopefully that video has helped you and you understand when a project becomes notifiable. If you haven't watched the intro to CDM video, go and check that out. Otherwise, don't forget to check out riskfluentlimited.com if you need some help with this stuff. I'll catch you next week, safe.